but afternoon. That is our baby waking up from a, maybe not waking up from a nap, but it's the first like real nap he's taking in his bassinet or in a different room. He's getting so he's, old. He's done it before, but it didn't last very long. This has been a while. Fingers crossed it lasts longer. Oh, he did just wake up and toot. successful as I usually am at Aldi, but still got most of what I need here. Gonna hit up Publix on the way home. Alrighty, so Peter is grocery shopping and James is asleep still, so I don't feel really comfortable like really starting cleaning or anything like that because I want to be by him. Um, and I moved him. He is out on his docketat now. He, he did get out of his bassinet, but it was still good. It was still progress. We're getting there with, with this whole like set naps. Um, but anyway, I am wrapping presents now because Peter's not here. I just wrapped one of like a, a Switch game for him in this plastic container because I feel like if he saw the size of it, he would know right away what game it was and that it was for the Switch. Um, and that just made me think of like funny ways of wrapping things. So I want you guys to comment below. Um your favorite like goofy rap job you have ever done for a, for a gift because i love that kind of humor um the most like comical or like intense rap job i've ever done is that i i had like a custom basketball jersey made for my best friend when i was young and i froze it so like it was in like a huge it was in like a ziploc and then like i filled a huge container full of water and froze it i don't know what <laughs> why i wanted to delay the process so much um but i just love that kind of stuff so comment below if you've received any gift that was wrapped really cool or if you've done the wrapping i forgot how ridiculous winter park traffic can be around the end of the business day so i actually got done working at three um I thought, I thought I'd get a jump on like the errand running grocery shopping. It's taking me significantly longer because of all the traffic and just like poor light structures here in Winter Park. They just have like weird lights and weird intersections and stuff. But I'm at Winter Park, I'm at Publix and I think it's gonna be my last stop before I go home. So that's great. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. It shouldn't. And with that Publix, I think we're done through Christmas, I think. Gotta go home and check everything with Sarah, but we should be good. Look at this cutie pie. He's awake. Now we can party. Look at this spread. This combo, chocolate milk and eggnog, is a family fave. Shout out to Oberweiss chocolate milk. That's what we typically would do it with. Um, love Oberweiss. Not sure if Peter mentioned what we're making, but we got peppers and sausage to make for Christmas Eve. We're gonna have our classic Italian salad. Um, there's the buns for the sausage. That tower is to make our red sauce. And here is some breakfast fun for Christmas morning. It's a pretty good mixture of plant-based and not plant-based foods. Um, we are cooking for Christmas Eve, just the two of us, um, our like Italian traditional food. And then on Christmas day, we'll have some leftovers, we'll have some dips, we'll have some desserts, but we are actually gonna go out for dinner on Christmas day. <laughs> this little baby over here is talking. So yeah, pretty simple grocery haul, but we're just keeping traditions alive, putting some plant-based spins on some stuff, but no matter what, we always eat good, don't we, James E. Boy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who said this big kid can, can grow up and hang out like this? <laughs> Not me. What are you looking at? Huh?
We're all just hanging out. Oh, do you want to watch us cook dinner? How about you? Do you want to watch us cook dinner? All right. Sarah's getting started on the sush. I'm going to get our new panini press ready. And I got all the ingredients out. What we're doing is a salami and ham panini with two different kinds of cheese. We've got a classic pepper jack and a very stringy, delicious Munster. Topped it off with a bunch of pesto. We also have Dijon, I forgot about that. So it's a simple process. You're gonna butter both of the outsides of the bread. Then on one half, I'm gonna put, smear the, the pesto. On the other half, I'm gonna smear the Dijon. Then on the side that the Dijon's going, we're gonna get the, the stringy Munster. The side of the pesto, we're gonna do the pepper jack. And then we're gonna fold over some delicious looking pieces of the uncured hard salami, the uncured black forest ham. Top that off with a salad. Let's get this right. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and panini press that all day long. Here goes the first on to the grill panini side. We're gonna go medium. I'm gonna do a little high medium. Sarah's eating the sush. While doing a sous oh. dance. I was doing it for James, boy. James, you boy making all kinds of noises. He loves my singing and dance. You got the hiccups? <coughs> oh, yeah? What do you think about the paninis? Do you like the paninis? <coughs> you love the paninis? You're allergic to the paninis. God bless you. I can't wait to have the paninis himself. We need to get you a matching bow tie to Mickey Mouse. When cranberry syrup mist is nowhere to be found, and the store only has two liters of your second best drink, you make it yourself. Half cranberry juice, half ginger ale, in a spoke cup. We're doing this ones at a time because it's very curated thing. So I'm gonna make Sarah's first. Oh my gosh. And then she's gonna eat it while I make my own. You gotta eat your sushi. I will. I don't have a meat press right now. We're we'll utilizing that butter knife as a meat press, but now we've got our four pieces of black forest ham, six little slices of salami, and now we're about to pop this on, butter up the sides, and pop it on the press. Okay. <laughs> that means Peter's happy. <laughs> I'm nervous. I kind of just dove right into it. Should we have researched? Maybe. Uh, 12 year old Peter didn't have this kind of equipment. <laughs> Look at that butter sizzling out from underneath the sandwich. I think it's time to check it. Tell Peter not to be defeated because it's soggy. Just gotta figure out the ratios of butter and pesto, because pesto's got oil and the meat's got oil and the bread is a certain thickness. Don't be discouraged. Now we got cheese melting up and sizzling. I'm playing with the temperatures. I'm no happier with this. It smells we'll see. delicious. Look at that. <laughs> I just don't think I had the temperature right. Uh huh. To begin with, I think I like it started to actually. It might, that's, that's hard. That's crispy. Woo! It might be good. I just might need, I think it just cooked too long. Now it's all too gooey inside, but I think the next one, if we start at a higher temperature, it'll be great. We're going to split this one so that the next one's perfect. We both got We both get the same. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Yeah. Actually, I haven't tried it yet, but after cutting it, let it sit for a second. Like, look at the, the caramelized on, like, there. Mm. Panini press for the win. All right, we're going for number two here. I'm a little nervous because there's a lot more cheese, but Sarah did request more of the cheese to be crystallized on the side. I'm opening up a deli one day like Luke's Diner, but it's going to be called Brookhart's Diner. Nah, nah, nah. Ooh! 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 You think you wear the crusty crab? The crusty crab pizza, don't, don't, don't. There's a pizza. I like how the cheese is traveling through the grates. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
precious boys. I did. I did. I did. I did. She looks at Peter like it's the greatest thing on earth. Wait for it. Hi. Hi. Cause he is. How are you? All right, we're getting Eve a new tag for Christmas. Mm-hmm. And we're shopping for a new collar. Do you think that one looks too big? No, well, maybe. But you could probably tighten it. I'm talking about the small setting. Yeah, I like kind of just want the exact same one she always has, just like refresh, because I love it so much. Is that a large? This is a medium. Let me see. So we chose this collar. It's maroon and pink and brown. So cute. And then this additional leash and um what do you call it harness we've been meaning to get her a harness forever this is awesome that it matches too we're doing this fancy machine you actually like put in the tag in this machine and it etches it in real time right here mm-hmm Eve has just gotten rough around the edges yeah, so just over getting, the years yeah it looks like you, you can't even see like fully everything doesn't even know what we just came back from doing but we have a busy evening of organizing cleaning doing dishes wrapping gifts doing laundry but I found a cool post oh my phone went to sleep found this cool post I took a screenshot of and it's all of the Christmas episodes of the Gilmore Girls so we're still not done with season six or seven we have eight episodes of six and all of seven but we're gonna watch some of these Christmas episodes tonight while we just kind of hang out do some busy work get ready for the holiday season upon us we have a guest I mentioned, we said? It, I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, and I said I would get permission from the person. Did we yet? Let's cliffhang it still. But did we get permission? Um, I know that it's common knowledge. But we just haven't like made an ex yeah. expletive? Yeah. Let's just say, let's give one more hint, let's not say today. Yeah. It's someone in our family. We have a big family. I know. <laughs> no one in the family has met him in person. Oh deal. gosh, so it is a huge deal. The day after yeah. Christmas. Are you excited, James? Who do you think it is? Well, you know who it is, James. Who does the vlog? How do, who do all of you think it is? Yeah. I just put together some gifts. Oh, gosh. Well, importantly, you know our crazy bathroom in James's room has been more of a storage unit. Look at this. Look at this. Here's our bathroom. It can actually be used as a functioning bathroom. Um, there is a vacuum in the shower, but look at this. Donna, 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 Donna. That is a max literally out. I could probably fit a few more things in there, but that's probably a fire hazard. Maxed out closet. But now I'm gonna, oh, I just realized. I may have like put a bunch of stuff in that closet and he locked Sarah's gifts that I have back there. I'm gonna wrap um, one or two of Sarah's gifts and one or two of James's gifts while Sarah's hanging out with James and watching Gilmore Girls uh, just so we can get some more presents underneath the tree. Fun fact about Peter Burkhart, um, my hips are crooked from my scoliosis that I, I grew up with and I had back surgery in high school, but that because of that, I actually can't sit on the ground too long because that hip displacement that they cannot fix uh, like just causes a lot of back pain and some leg is falling asleep but I wrapped some gifts also fun fact not the best or I should say I'm not bad at wrapping gifts I just take a long time so I wrapped a few gifts tonight I'm gonna go do the dishes and we're gonna get going to bed because it's almost one in the morning so it's officially Christmas Eve so happy Christmas Eve. Here we got a Sarah gift. Um, those are Sarah gifts. And this is a big James gift. Check it out. To Jamesy from mom and dad. That is an imp a pretty incredible feeling to have this right here. Um, last Christmas was not an easy time at all for Sarah and I. Um, I'll specifically talk to myself it was a really, really hard time. So very happy and blessed and honored and humbled to be having that gift right there. Ooh, it's late. James and Sarah have been sleeping. 
That's all cleaned. Look at that, taken apart. I love it. All right, the daily message, December 23rd. Today's is by Maya Angelou. Let nothing dim the light that shines from within. Well, when we get up, it'll be Christmas Eve, and we've got a lot to do and a lot of fun to be had. It's good to be home. Surprise. Sorry, I forgot that we had special pajamas before the sign off today. His friend sent them to him. Yes. So sweet. I'm gonna heat up a bottle, so we're just gonna feed him, and then we're gonna get to bed. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.